so we here in white playing Hervetia from Switzerland and in blue uh, Barcelona from Spain and we have a nice start moving slightly towards the Barcelona side um, Helvetia is in ball possession trying to establish an attack uh, from the corner of the close side moving here from above attacking um, playing back at the close corner and uh, trying here to attack We have a nice set there, number 14, Simi is coming in, trying to position herself. We still have a slightly one minute played, but one of the Barcelona girls tries to get hold of the ball, but she was alone. So right now Elisenda Andres has the ball, number 12 for Barcelona, against uh, Isa Morgenstern, trying here to get towards the Helvetian baskets. So we see uh, number 23, Sylvia, struggling, passing to one of her teammates, Alicia, number 55, passing to number 14, reaching for the first time in this game the Helvetian basket. Um, yeah, Colombo, well, the names of the teams are still wrong. I already said it twice, please change it again to the Regie, um, that's Barcelona, and that's a goal for Barcelona! Um, I don't know... Uh, have it, yeah. Um, and so. so, we couldn't see who did the goal, but it's a goal for Barcelona. Eight minutes played, seven, uh, eight to go, three minutes, two minutes played. Really nice um, to see here again that the forwards trying to get the ball and break through. So we have Florina now with me commenting. Yeah, thank you, Annika. I was around uh, talking to people. Um, Let's see. So, Colombo, eh, no sabemos de quién eh, es el gol, gol, no sí. lo habíamos visto, fue del, um, the clock from the close side here, but now we also moving towards the Helvetian basket, nicely uh, seeing the Barcelona players lying down there while number 83, Giovanna Bautista, is in the struggle and she could break three. We have a attack of two players here, but two of the Hawaii girls nicely um, stopped and slowed down the attack, but the attack continues. We're right at the Hawaii basket trying to get in there and... Give me two minutes, Annika, that I um, check the, the, the scores of the um, uh, past games and so I was in the new... Um, Barcelona, Table we have and then, yep. no, no, Barcelona lost against Langen and Vienna girls 2 0, so it's the first game they scored and it's really nice. Now we have a referee, no, we have a slightly rough scrum going up from the Hevitzen basket to the surface, trying to push towards the Barcelona basket, but many Barcelona girls supporting each other. There was somebody down there, and Alicia, number 55, is passing to Aida Pairo, number 6. And they really nicely, um, what they left before, supporting each other, coming in as waves, uh, playing uh, at the bottom of the pool. And we see also, um, but we also see a much more confident defense from Helvetia. They're really getting into it. They have some new players um, who, who will earn some more experience here. They're a mixed Switzerland woman team because they don't have enough women, so Switzerland didn't came to a championship this year, so it's really nice um, seeing them play here and really doing the effort now to get forward, do some forechecking here, but Barcelona is still in ball position, trying to get to the basket but past the defender, and they try to pass to number... so that's a referee call 
choking. Taking the, the I didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. If it's on it's the neck then it's choking. Yeah. He he did that strangling and then it's um free for for heavy against Barcelona and there we have some Federico from <laughs> Orcas, one of the players and the trainer of the girl. Uh, so right now we have Iris catching the ball, trying to pass it, um, but there are two, three white players down there trying to get in. Mm. Another scrum going up to the surface. We saw a lot of scrumming uh, the last game, and we see <coughs> some scrumming here, So, but more referee calls. It's a free throw for Barcelona, strangling again. But from the opponent team, from Helvetia this time. So, so wait for the referees. Four minutes to go from the first uh, half of the game. And uh, this is a tie game. But it looks like I mean, Barcelona have been attacking for longer periods it's of time. That the streaming Vitya has going done. right now. It, ah, the streaming is the stream is down. Stream is offline. I'm sorry. The, is it? Yeah, it said offline. Are we online yet? No, we're offline. Stream is offline. Um, can you continue? Yes. Talking? Uh, see, no, it's okay. uh, Sorry, we were a little bit late in um, seeing that the streaming was down or is down. We have two people from Barcelona trying to attack, passing it, coming over the close side. But the Avetia girls are in position and tackle them away. The, I think they need to move the ball a bit faster. We have the 11 trying to steal the basket didn't work. And then we have... Uh, are we back online again? No. No. Should, it's not that line, no? We're not online again, but no, they the one zero for us. It's another referee call here. Ball drops. We uh, it's pushing and roughing. It's roughing, so it's a free throw for Helvetia against Barcelona. And we you wait were? for some few seconds, but ah, there was uh, yeah, no. but we were where, okay. but it's we. So um, let's see, um, Olivetia for a minute there was trying to go toward the area of Barcelona, but they were intercepted, now they're fighting in the middle area. A lot of white players down here to catch the ball, to get in ball possession, trying to swim towards the Barcelona basket. Barcelona is trying to interfere here, setting up really fast um, the defense. Uh, passing it to the hands of number six, Aida Pairo. And are we live again? Oh, no. I think we're live again. We have 19. Are we live again? Mm. Thank you, Colombo, for telling us the live stream went down. That's really helping us. So we have a, a counter attack from Alvetia. Karina is defending there. And uh, now the uh, we tackle away up. We can't see, and I think they recovered the ball. The Barcelona girls are not now trying to attack. Passing. Two, we're back. 21 watchers from the 100 we had before. I'm sorry, we have problems this time with streaming and internet, so we're now here back at the game. 30x of uh, 38 of Champions Cup. Did you tell a little bit uh, in the Spanish uh, for the relative at home, um, Annika? Did you talk Not a little yet. bit? Not yet. Vale, lo hago yo. Entonces, um, tenemos un partido super guay, eh, aparte de Barcelona, que está atacando um, en olas, apoyándoles eh, debajo de, del agua. Y eh, van con 1-0 contra Helvetia, que es de Suiza. Um, y quieren ganar esto. De los dos eh, lados lo vemos que quieren ganarlo. Hemos visto unos ataques de Helvetia súper buenos, eh, pero Barcelona ha manejado a defender todos los, todas las ataques. Um, that's half time here. Tenemos a uh, gente de 
Barcelona de España viendo y haben wir Schweizer, die schauen. Ich spreche auf Deutsch in der Schweiz, weil ich weder Französisch noch Romans und Italienisch ganz wenig rede. Also ich rede in das nur eine von den vier Sprachen der Schweiz. Ich weiß, also die Männer kommen aus Zürich, das ist noch deutschsprachiges Raum, aber Elvetia, die Damen, weiß ich nicht, ob kommen aus einer Mischung wahrscheinlich. Basel und Zürich. Basel und Zürich, okay. So this uh, very tight game. Um, goal fell. I mean, three or four minutes before the end of the first half, and now I think Avetia has a chance, but they need to be very um, fighty. <laughs> yeah. And Barcelona needs to stay focused and continues defending. Uh, I haven't been really seen all the game, so. The few times that the Vetia arrived to Barcelona basket were the dangerous, or the Barcelona team could defend that pretty well. There were some dangerous situations here, but Barcelona could um, defend it off. Maybe they learned from the first game today. And right now we see um, their Camilo Gaetan, the trainer of the girls, talking to them really energetic so I think he really wants to win there's John coming in and we see the background supporting of the men and on the other side we see um, Leo Litt and Dennis um, who's training the Helvetian girls um, Leo plays in Basel and he trains also with Freiburg and then we have Dennis who plays at Wiesbaden and training there um, and I think they're doing a good job to get these girls who are pretty mixed coming together. Well, I'm, uh, I'm happy yes, that... I'm Lucien, okay, thank you, Jan. Thank you. I, I am happy that they are here again because for a few years they did not yes. come. So I was pretty... Even the men team also did yeah. skip a few years here in the Champions Cup and uh, such a pity. But now with the Donations League, it's, it looks like uh, they're being able to uh, grow. Yes. And, and have some experience. Totally. And uh, also some of the Basel players are inscripted in our club and playing with us sometimes so they really improve and we also learn from them. And they're quite experienced player passing it on to the players from Luthern and Zurich. And then we have for, for the Barcelona team, they're really getting into the game. They're normally training at a pool that has not or that doesn't reach three meters depth. And normally, we acquired in underwater rugby for everybody out there three meters eighty. That's the, the minimum depth we need. So really fast start from Iris number twenty. She comes from fin swimming, catches the ball for Barcelona, trying towards the close side of the pool into the corner, and then we have here an attack but there is missing some other Barcelona players but Helvetia defending really good here doing a nice job and we have another scrum and we see right now I think she wasn't they was substituted number 21 from Barcelona Mar she only is 14 years old so I think the youngest player at Champions Cup who? Mar how old is she? 14 I know, Marcos also has one girl that's 14 years old. So I have two yeah. girls here, 14. Oh, nice, two. No, I didn't know. I asked to run, but I didn't get, catch him. So we have two players. At very least, young. yeah. I don't know if it's Marcos. I know they're pretty young. I don't know, I don't know if it's just one girl with 14 or, or more, more. But that's nice that you see that the sport grows younger. Um, so we have uh, more more play in the future. It would be nice how they uh, learn and become. So we have a nice uh, attack from Helvetia here at the Barcelona basket, but number six, um, the defender Aida Pairo Pro Cruz. They pass in the middle line um, to players really nicely moving around the Helvetian basket, trying to get in there. They scrum away. Now the basket is free. There's no goalie there, and it's stolen. Karina. <laughs> yeah, Karina stole the basket. And and the Isa is trying to get it back again, and that's a goal from Barcelona. That's you know it's a tricky position because Karina yes. needs to be very careful not to push away the goal yeah. that I was on top of her. Otherwise, would have been like pushing without ball. So yeah, when you block the goalie like that, you need to be able to leave like gaps somewhere because otherwise he can turn around you. So well, well done by uh, the Barcelona team. We couldn't see who. It, did you saw? I did not see who scored. Alguien vio que metió el gol, chicos, de la audiencia? Colombo, lo sabes tú? 
<laughs> okay, we are now back in fall position of the blue team here at Champions Cup, which is Barcelona so far. Um, and they are attacking again in the wave, stopped by one Helvetian player, number two, I think. Um, so we still don't know who did the goal. Somebody said it was Karina who stole the basket in the first place, but we don't know. So we have a big scrum here at the surface, moving towards the Helvetian side. Marcos has two girls of 14 years old, Samantha and Isabella. Thank you, Julie. So three girls that are 14 years old, probably. So it's really nice to watch that they manage to play such a high level um, mm -hmm. cup and that such they're doing a good age, yeah. job, right? So like holding on to it. Now we have another attack from Sylvia, number 23 of Barcelona. She's trying to get in there. She's managed to keep possession of the ball, passing it two and they trying to set up an attack around the basket moving from one side to the other but now we have one player only from Barcelona coming back in the second wave of players here trying to get in there but you see <coughs> Helvita really improved in their defense there are always three people down there trying to get um, the ball and the substitution is also working really good. The changes on top of the basket. Now we have one. We have the. We have, I, I like. I mean, how Barcelona is keeping in control of the ball. Sometimes they are even one, but they can, you know, stay. And I don't understand why, when they have one, why um, Elvetia does not attack and try to get the ball not, like they did it just now. Then the surface. Mm, let's see if it the ball fell and who gets uh, who recovered the ball. Yes. So Colombo asks who's the oldest player. We don't know that. Um. So right now we have a counter attack from Helvetia moving towards the Barcelona side, stopped by the forwards. And still in fighting in the surface. And we didn't see so much surface fighting in the Barcelona first Barcelona has the ball and now they are in a counter attack. Two against two, good pass behind the defender, but she recovered. Great save. And let's see if now they can really start a counter attack. Uh, I mean, Switzerland, they are fighting in the surface again for the ball. This kind of game is because a lot of energy and really takes all the energy out of the game. Oh, great. I mean, Switzerland still kind of in possession, or was at least. Three players really went nicely. to get the ball. Number 42 of the Hawaiian ah. woman. I thought you know it here. Yeah. Katrin Hayali recovered the ball. Now they're playing again at the uh, close corner side of the Barcelona and basket here roughly four minutes uh, to go in the second half and Isa is passing to number 33 that's Tamara Calvelti and there you see number 17 uh, Anna a lot down there helping her teammates and number six Andrea also so we see like Helvetia is improving that they're going out more for attacking right now, right? Yes, they look a little bit more aggressive than what I saw from the first half and they're coming more towards uh, Barcelona than before. Probably also because Barcelona now that concentrated on defending is too sure that they're winning this game and they don't need to just um, risk anything. Although it would be good for them maybe to have control of the ball and keep moving it. But uh, I guess that so far Elvetia hasn't been really attacking very, very dangerous. Except for now with the ball moving around. The ball of the two team Iris has it, passes it, drops and recovered by the white team. I think it was Helena here holding on to the ball.
Let's see, now we're still in the surface and someone got the ball is uh, swimming in a counter attack. Please change the, the picture. Check the picture, that people. That was a goal and we haven't seen yeah. it. The picture was too late. And look, there was sorry. like a counter attack. Yeah. And the goal didn't make it on time. But 3 0 for Barcelona and time out yeah. for the white team for Helvets. Yeah. And there's less than 3 minutes left. Yeah. Is somebody from Switzerland or uh, of Germany watching here? Some of my teammates. Please say hi in the chat. Um, we're transmitting here live from uh, Stadtbad Tempelhof in Berlin. The um, Champions Cup. We're in game number 38. It's a women's game. It's Barcelona against Helvetia from Switzerland. Barcelona obvious from Spain. And there, Barcelona is leading 3-0. And it's a quite dense game. We saw both teams defending and attacking really good, but Barcelona could use the change the chances to uh, score here. And there has been soccer. quite a tight game, but Barcelona was more in control yes. all the time. And at least when they attacked, uh, they were a bit more dangerous and that's why they scored three times I mean so we have another scrum at the middle of the pool it's moving up to the surface here number 55 of Helvetia trying to scrub it away Moving it, pushing it towards the Barcelona and Barcelona. Less, yeah, less than two minutes to go. Let's see, I mean, this is the moment where if Alvete wants to score at least one goal, they need to, you know, get the ball and move more than being fighting in the surface. That can be so tiring and yep. it really con and energy consuming. So now we have a, a wave attack from Helvetia towards the Barcelona basket, but there are three Barcelona players down there, so they're really settled in their defense, as well as Helvetia is getting more into the attacks, but we have roughly one minute here left at the game. So... Nicely switch. Oh, there was a close one, I think, number 14. That's a call from the referee, holding without the ball. That's a free throw for Helvetia. Ah, uh, penalty. penalty. No. No. Free throw for Helvetia. Ball holding. Okay. Holding. Sorry. No problem. 43 seconds left in the in the game. <laughs> so we have a lot of Barcelona players down here trying to defend a stolen defense position by number 22 of Helvetia, that's Ellen Reift and uh, Isa also is getting in there trying to position herself at the basket we have five seconds left in this game and it's Scrum holding on to it and, and then I got the ball and that's the end of it, it. so 3-0 Barcelona wins, it's their first win this Champions Cup, um, nice game, we had a lot of support here, we have 85 viewers right now, we're saying congratulations to Barcelona from Colombo, sí, muchas felicitaciones a Barcelona. <laughs> but well played Havitia, I think the new players and all the players will learn a lot of that, yeah. and it will be nice to see them in the next game. I think Havitia now is playing one last game yeah. tonight, and then Barcelona, I think, has the next game tomorrow morning. I'm actualizing all the schedule here, <laughs> so we know who's coming. I, actually, we don't have it here, so give me one second, I'm checking. So we have to set up um, the next game, who's coming in and uh, who's playing next. No. And then oh, we're yes. just arranging the <laughs> team list. We here. are having we have yeah. it here. Who's playing next? Hold on a second. Quarterfinals. 
Field goals. Should it be? So yeah, there, is there we see goals. Uh, against I think so. Against who? Yeah, bad boys. Budesovice. Budesovice. Okay, so we have uh, Unidive goals against Budesovice. That means Australia, Australia against uh, Czech Republic team. Somebody from Australia watching here. That would be nice. It is quite late there. I don't know what time is it. Middle in the night. Middle I mean, night. like uh, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. That's true. There's like 76 people watching right now. We see here at the images uh, the teams accompanying and passing a little bit before the game. Um, we have in blue goals from Australia and in blue booty the Czech team, how do you call the name again? The Czech team, yeah. Budejovice or Budweis? Budejovice or Budweis, I just call them Budweis. <laughs> so it's, it's like the Finnish unpronounceable team. <laughs> just in German. Czech team, so we have like Budweis against goals uh, from Queensland. Coming up next, the referees are getting ready and into the water. And it's the 39th game of Champions Cup here live streaming from Berlin. If you have any comments or wishes uh, what we can improve, uh, just tell us so in the live stream or write us on Facebook or Instagram. We're doing a lot of stories. You can follow us there. It's uh, Champions Cup, I think. Um, okay. So, how many fans are watching? Come on, it's Saturday evening, you can't tell just, you're working. Just say hi to us. It would be... Alright, so, so a few more minutes. One next minute, next one and a half to go. Game. That's Who do you think is going to win, Annika? I think it would, will be a tough and close game, mm. but I would bet on goals from Queensland. They're also hungry for a win and they always, we saw some good play in there. Um, I heard them talk earlier and they're really um, trying to calm themselves down, talking strategics. Um, but